We, we've done this enough that you could probably play this back to me. Thank you very much to the town of Guilford, Guilford Public Schools, the Guilford Foundation, Guilford Fund for Education, the Shoreline Ballet, Connecticut Humanities, Guilford Community Foundation for Greater New Haven, the Connecticut Office of the Arts, Shore Publishing, Zippo 6, what, Whitfield and Water Shops, New Haven Symphony Orchestra, Shoreline Arts Alliance, Guilford Savings Bank, Compass Asset Management, Service Master Restore, Essex Savings Bank, Tyco Printing and American Solutions for Business. And we are now into the closing act of our night, the John Spignessi Band, who I have been looking forward to hearing for quite some time. The John Spignessi Band. Thanks, guys.
How y'all doing? We're the Johnson Messy Band from Brantford, Connecticut. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. How about, uh, how about a thanks to all everybody helping run today? The sound guys, volunteers, and everybody. Tyler and crew, Brandon. So uh, the unique thing in this band, we don't write set lists. We never have. We do everything kind of off the cuff. So everything you're hearing is kind of, we have a catalog of probably about 70 or 80 songs and every single show we kind of dictate the mood and see what it is that we want to do. So that being said, this next one right here is a tune called uh, Beautiful Dream. Hope you enjoy it.
Johnson Gussie Band from Brantford. Thanks so much. This is a lot better commute. Last night we played in Providence. <laughs> we all got home at like 4.30, so <laughs> this is a lot nicer and it's earlier too, so <laughs> we're big fans. Yeah, yeah, some people are still sleeping. Joe, Joe stopped and actually slept at a rest stop because he's responsible and stuff. But I was, I was driving at like 3:45, had the window rolled down, I was screaming, "Ah!" Oh! Trying to like wake myself up. You know, finally pulled into my girlfriend's spot at like 4:30, and I was just like, "I gotta load all this crap again." 
life of the business because none of us are smart enough to carpool. <laughs> We're making decisions, yeah, you know, as we go. So, it's 100 miles away. We're still going to take four cars. <laughs>